All right, so no, what do you got? Number number one. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna make. It, I made it simple. I even got it down with not a bunch of words. Ooh. And I mostly did that for me because okay. I'm, I'm a simple guy here. Okay. <laughs> but you're All awfully right. cute. Oh, thank you, baby. Oh, come on. All right. Mm-hmm. Today. Today. Okay. Do it today. Okay. Nice Do the work today. Mm-hmm. No one wakes up. Mrs. Jones doesn't wake up in the morning and want to call you. And she's not just calling, especially now. Okay, especially now, mm-hmm. just to you know, call you and ask how much do you charge. Um, we were thinking about plumbing okay, companies. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. She wants it um, just like any other shopping experience. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, when when she wants to go to the store, she goes to the store and buys whatever today. Correct. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. She wants it today. Okay, so and especially today. now being able to do it today mm-hmm. because everything else is being taken out of control. Her re- there's going to be kind of a key thing through this okay. of the customer f- having a sense of control. Mm-hmm. So here's the opportunity of giving the customer a sense of control, which will make it very comfortable for them. And uh, you know, and a comfortable customer is a buying customer. Okay, mm-hmm. so Always. make it today. This this thing of you know of making it comfortable for you which the comfortable for a lot of us was well i got to schedule especially now during these times because we're worried about getting calls right Mm -hmm. all right Right. and so i like to know that i got a call on today and i got a call on tomorrow i'm booked for the week right i'm getting calls booked up through the week no 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 no. that's not a good thing okay it's very bad you know sacrificing the customer's convenience for your comfort comfort Mm -hmm. is just going to wind up um putting you in a bad spot yep okay you're gonna die you are gonna die die. and not from the not from the virus okay Mm -hmm. from making silly uh decisions okay stupid decisions they are they are stupid (laughs) okay thank you (laughs) that is a very stupid thing that Mm -hmm. that a lot of us did at the beginning yep was trying to you know get this full schedule so we can say that because we did it right in fact that that's one of our our our, our, you know a lot of our coaching is Mm -hmm. just telling guys what not to what do. What not to do. Don't make these stupid Don't do this stupid did. thing. Right. Don't do this stupid thing. <laughs> Don't do this stupid thing. Okay? Don't do the stupid thing of scheduling out your service. Don't be worried about tomorrow. Mm-mm. Don't worry about tomorrow. If you get calls on today. Call, everything goes on today. Right. Okay? And it, you got to treat it like triage. Okay? Mm-hmm. You're going to double book. Okay? Mm-hmm. So if... If a you know you got like a, a drain opening or something like that, mm-hmm. or just a possible leak of something, you're not sure what it is, but you have a leaky or no hot water, you know, mm-hmm. a, a bigger call comes in. You have to make these kinds of business decisions where you choose the jobs that are best for you. Exactly, okay. best for you. Hey, this is this is professional plumbing. Right. Okay. This is this is big boy world. This is the majors. Okay, it it's isn't about, well, this person called in first or that. Okay, mm-hmm. it's triage, just like in a war zone. Mm-hmm. Okay, in a, in, a, in a, you know, in a MASH unit. MASH, you know, same thing, you know, I remember that, MASH. That kind of a thing. Who's ever hurt the worst or the worst situation gets taken care of first. Right. Okay, no matter if they were just getting ready to bring someone in. Mm-hmm. This guy comes in, oh, no, this one goes Sorry in. Sorry about you. Okay. Yep. You so have to run your business the same way. Today. 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 Right. Any questions there? Any questions? Anybody want to argue with that? Bring it. Just try. Just Come on. try. Come on. You'll lose. Bring it. <laughs> All right. No, today. 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 Mm-hmm. Why the blossoms hey, and while still we're, bloom. Uh-huh. While, we're, while you're getting ready to write the next thing in, um, share this, guys. If you know someone that could really use um, this show, could, could benefit from some of these golden nuggets, share it. Let us know that you shared it, and we'll, we'll give you a shout out. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Greg that Faulkner. That's a name from the past, I do believe. Greg, weren't you on our show once, like a hundred years ago? Maybe. I think so. Gosh. Dispatch to, to the maximize to maximize the opportunity. The opportunity. Exactly. exactly. Right. Greg. Okay. Seriously, weren't you on our show a long time ago? And if you said something like that, that's a nugget of gold. That's I right. Mean, so we need to have you on again because right. you're obviously very, very smart. Okay. So. Yep. You guys, you got to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, you know, it's it's uh, maximizing every opportunity. Every okay? single and time. And especially now. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just how it is. Yep. Okay. All right. So. Hey, Lance number, Ball just jumped the shark, baby. What? What are you? Options. He Lance. Knows. Lance. Right. He's cheating. He's looking at number your notes. Two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you see my notes? Where is he? I think he is. Lance, where are you, man? <laughs> All right. Number two options. is options. 
options, options, options. Yes, Greg. Okay, boys, I knew options. It. Mm-hmm. All right, this broke fix thing is a killer. Okay, yeah, well, I it. don't, want, I don't want to try to push. I'm not selling them something that they don't need. Uh, well, who are you to say what they need and don't need? Right. Okay. Already, Mrs. Jones is in the position right now with what's going on with every, you know, the government and everybody telling them what she can't do. Mm-hmm. She can't go outside. She can't get her hair done. All right. She can't go to the store. All right. Mm-hmm. She can't stand next to people. All right. She can't do this. She can't do that. Who are right. you to tell somebody who what they can you? and can't do? Right. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. It's just part of um, the experience here. I got three C's for you. Okay. okay. One, one is choice. Okay. Choice. You look, okay. look, we all have choice in our in our buying experience. You know, you go to Walmart, okay? Normally, when you go to the toilet paper roll, you know, aisle, you have choice in toilet paper. Right now, we don't. <laughs> Not okay? anymore. But normally, you do, okay? Not yeah. just one type of toilet paper. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got extra soft. You got extra crunchy, okay? You got extra rough, <laughs> okay? Oh. You got extra whatever, okay? Okay. All right? You got it with, you know, I okay? All right? You have choices. Mm-hmm. And everything, we go, we go to the restaurant. There's choices, Mm-hmm. Okay, whether we're looking at a menu, you when know. There was a restaurant. Okay, well, remember yes. when they had restaurants and those things where you could go out and mm-hmm. sit down at a table? Right, okay, close or to you people. could go up someplace and right there with everybody mm-hmm. else and order off a, you know. Uh, we were watching a movie over the weekend and um, it had different scenes of, you know, just of the movie and there were people at a restaurant and people out and about. And it's like I longingly Which looked one? at that and went, oh. For a moment, <laughs> I actually had, but for a moment, we were watching that, I know we were uh. talking, it was like, Hey, don't they know there's supposed to be some separation? <laughs> I mean, I had this right in this moment of, well, how did, why do they get to do that? How come they right. get to be? Oh, I miss right. being out. Okay, but we have Sorry. choices. That is Squirrel. the normal buying experience Correct. for all of us, mm-hmm. for all of us, okay? And it is for your customer, too. Yep. So to hey. walk in there mm-hmm. and just say, uh, uh, that, that is awkward. That's right. uncomfortable. Okay. Greg's saying only one option is an ultimatum. That correct. That's good. You must Gosh, have been on the show. You've been, been watching. You've been listening. <laughs> okay. Right. That's exactly right. Uh-huh. What you're doing is saying, take it or leave it. Right. All right. And I know best. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's, again, we're, we're placing the customer who's already uncomfortable. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Correct. No one wants to spend money with a plumber. No one wants to deal with a plumber. Nope. Okay. I know we love us and we know we're <laughs> essential. All mm-hmm. right. All right. Now the government says we're essential. Mm-hmm. Okay. Stand but the customer still is not buying into it, really. Right. Okay. They still don't want you there. They still don't want us there. Right. Okay. But so, you are there. So we want to make them comfortable. Mm-hmm. Provide choices right. by doing options. Okay. Another C word here I have is control. Mm-hmm. Okay. Give the, by providing options, you give the customer control. Always. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not just with choices, but get this. Your customer wants to say no. What? Mm-hmm. I know it, and it's hard to believe. Well, they called me out there. They got me out there. Believe me, the customer wants to go, no, mm-hmm. I don't want to do this. Get out. Get out of here. Right. <laughs> They're looking for something to say no to. Mm-hmm. So give them something to say no to. Okay. Right. We're, we're going to give options. Okay. And preferably with, with this. All right. We want to do it in a good, better, best. Okay. That's, uh, that's, we're used to that kind of um, uh, delivery. Okay. Good, better, best. Kind of like, you know. Um, you know, this one's too cold, this one's too hot, you know, it's the Goldilocks thing, all right? Mm-hmm. But this one's just right, just okay, right. all right? Where we're used to that. And if you look at, uh, I'm not gonna go in the deep end, I know um, uh, CF, if he's still on here, I know that he does some good teaching on this, uh, CF the plumbing sales coach, mm-hmm. okay? On, you know, how other uh, industries have, this is part of the, the style, we're given options, you know, we have it in the auto industry and all, all different kinds of industries mm-hmm. um, deliver this, us to this way. So we're used to this good, better, best, okay? Right. Um, I personally hi- highly recommend and been very good with this, that, you know, doing just the three option, a good, better, best, by offering too many options, um, it's it, they get confused. And then a the confused customer wants to just shut down. Uh, let, me, let me think about it. I got to think about it. Okay, so just just three options, right. all right. Mm-hmm. Also, by providing three options, yes. another C word is it, it gives um, consideration. Okay, they have something to consider. More directly, what that means is it gives them price perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you give them the first what the um, you know your good, better, best, and I prefer delivering it in this manner. Okay, in in the good, better, best, a fix. Mm-hmm. Okay, an upgrade and a replace right. replacement. I know there's others out there in different mm-hmm. styles. We'll say give them the replacement and then come down to the fix. Mm-hmm. I personally like to earn the customers. Um, um, trust right up right up front by saying, Mrs. Jones, the reason why you called us out here is because of this. Mm-hmm. And here's what this costs to replace this. Oh my, 
It's $50. <laughs> $50 for that. You know, and, and you know, whatever they, whether they start crying or they throw up, you know, or they just, your know, head turns around like the Exodus, you know. Get They're exorcist. <laughs> okay. Or, you know, or they just break down. Mm -hmm. You know, we've actually seen that. I know that we've actually seen customers. Start. How many have you had a customer that has started to cry okay. when you're there? Anybody? Right. We, I mean, it didn't happen a lot. But, didn't have, but we've had but that. When we've it had does, yell. oh my gosh. Uh, CF has a funny story of where the customer actually was threatening him. Pot of the arm was good, <laughs> throw him out. Arm. But he wanted, you know, okay. Um, it, it happens, all right, with one. So it's always more than mm -hmm. what they expect because they don't want to spend money with a plumber. Correct. Okay, all right. But with price perspective, now I would give them the, you know, the, um, you know, the better option, okay, they see a higher price for something, all mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then finally, with the best is, a, you know, a higher price. So, um, you know, for example, uh, you know, a flapper, our flapper, you know, replacing a flapper, toilet's running. Well, Mrs. Jones, the reason we've been hearing that tinkling sound is the, the flapper, and, and we have the, you know, replace this flapper and is $189, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we had a minor toilet rebuild, which is replacing the, the flapper and, and, and the, the fill valve, okay? And to do that is, you know, $329. And, you know, $29. Right. Um, but Mrs. Jones, your toilet also, you know, is you know, over 10 years old here, you know, and we recommend replacing possibly a new toilet it here and we had that kind of discussion she, she sees six hundred dollars okay well now after seeing those other higher prices 189 dollars doesn't seem as high it gives doesn't a price perspective so bad. okay mm -hmm. all right and we're used to that you see this all the time right. all right yep. all right mm -hmm. all right Lance I've, had says them, I've, say, I've had him had a heart attack a heart attack yeah. seriously I mean, it, you, you know, Yikes. again, no one wants to spend good. money with a plumber, okay? Mm -hmm. So you, you want to give them, you know, with price perspective. Mm -hmm. And also, mm -hmm. look, um, I recommend too, and I'm, we're playing the averages here, okay? okay. It's kind of like the thing, you know, I had, I had Bob Hope. Some of you don't know who Bob Hope is. Of course they I played don't golf know. with Bob Hope. No one knows who Bob Hope is on The older guys don't know who Bob Hope Does is. Does anybody? Okay, but I played golf Bob, with Bob Hope. And I'm, I'm swinging this thing, and I'm knocking the ball, foo, foo, all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and Bob Hope told me, Dickie, mm -hmm. okay, don't repeat that, guys. <laughs> okay, Dickie, all right, just just keep it down in the middle of the lane, mm. in the, the fair, fairway. Just just hit it down the middle. Even if you, even if you only knock it 40 yards, it's down the middle. Mm -hmm. Keep it down the middle. Keep it down the middle. Play the averages. Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of thing. You, know, you want to do you know, three yards, five yards, first down three yards, five yards, first down, mm -hmm. okay? Instead of just going for the bomb every single time, okay? You wanna do the same kind of a thing. So keep it in the lane with your options. So I just use the example, like the, the flapper. What, what I mean by keep it in the lane, keep it within the fixture in the room, okay? Mm -hmm. The guys understand this, it's easier for them to transition to this, you don't, you don't have to be a salesman, okay? You're not a good salesman, okay? You're not CF the plumbing sales coach, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> Unless you start taking his stuff. Okay, that's why I want to. That's why I want to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're, oh, yeah. you're really looking to get better with sales, mm -hmm. all right, type CF in C the comments. F? Okay, or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash CF, mm -hmm. as in CF, training. the plumbing sales coach. Okay, and <laughs> as check in out Chris Fresh. As in Chris Fresh. Okay, <laughs> he's got a great uh, plumbing sales um, right. series that he has. Okay, but yep, starting out training. here. Just mm -hmm. to keep that's master training, okay, mm -hmm. and he'll always hit on the options as well. Just it's good for your guys to be involved in that stuff and mm -hmm. hear on that. But right. by starting out here, it's just you just want to get first downs, first downs, especially during these times. Is stay within your lane, okay? <laughs> a flapper, you know, keep it within the toilet. Minor rebuild and a new toilet, okay? It's easy for your guys to do that. It's you know, it's tough enough just getting doing the options, and also the customer understands that unless you're good at serving the customer truly good when serving the customer. You don't have to sell, but serving the customer, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, which is really selling. Selling's not a bad thing. We're all involved in selling in one way or another, okay? Mm -hmm. um, it's tough to go from a toilet to you know a PRV and a water softener. The customer doesn't understand if you're not good at, at communicating with them in that manner, okay? Mm -hmm. But right now, we just wanna get that third, you know, three yards, five yards, first down, three yards, five yards, first down, and that adds up, okay? All right, sure makes does. sense, okay? okay? Sure does to me. Today, I get and, it. and options, mm -hmm. okay, and options. All right, hey, before, the, three, the third one here is a biggie, okay? Yeah. Uh, hey, but before, I got something for you, just for being with me tonight, you do? okay? All right, my seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber, free, Keyword free ebook. All right, seven things that you got to know to be a million dollar plumber. Now's the time to be looking at this kind of stuff, guys. All right, and I made it easy for you. 
It's free. So you can type free in the comments. No, no, no. Type seven. Type seven. The lovely Laura corrected me. <laughs> type seven type in the comments. Type seven in the comments. So go yes. to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash seven mm-hmm. and grab your free seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber ebook. Uh-huh. All right. Mm-hmm. There we go. Hey, Eddie. Eddie from Monkey Wrench Mechanical. I like that name. All Monkey right. Wrench. Hey, what's up, Eddie? How you doing, How you brother? Doing, Eddie? Monkey Wrench. Mm-hmm. All right. Love it. All right, number three. Uh, all right, we have number one. Uh-huh. Do it today. Do it today. Number two. Mm-hmm. Provide options. All right. Uh-huh. Number three. Mm-hmm. You ready? I'm ready. Is Lance? Is Lance yeah. watching? Lance, watch, Lance. You all see right. us? Here we go. <laughs> Flat rate. Flat rate. Mm-hmm. Flat rate pricing. Flat rate pricing. No, 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 no. Flat rate pricing. Time that could be a song. Is the most Flat rate pricing. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> all right. That's how all of our customers are used to buying flat rate pricing. Okay. You're freaking your customers out mm-hmm. with this time and material stuff. Oh, okay. Wait. Daniel says, what was the third C? Boy, he, he's someone that's keeping track. What was the third C? Consideration. Consideration. Okay. Mm. Under options, you got choice. All right. Control mm-hmm. and consideration. There we go. Which consideration is really just um, gives a customer something to consider, which really leading to um, price, price perception. perception. All right. Price that's a per, price perspective. perspective. Price perspective. perspective. Price perspective. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Daniel's so, keeping track. Ooh, ooh we all right. Piece, whatever watching, we got to make go. sure we're on our This time. guy's serious, taking advantage of this time. I know. Okay, to it. raise your game. All mm-hmm. right. Flat rate pricing, guys. Flat rate pricing. Come on, all right. you guys. When's the last time that you've gone anywhere? I mean, gone to the movie game. theater or, you know, to the store, okay, mm-hmm. or Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, that's my, my favorite, Taco Bell. And they broke it down, um, out, you know, time and materials. And instead of how much they charge hourly mm-hmm. and how much the materials are and the wrapper and this and that. And the never, labor. Never. Ever. No, and neither is your customer. Mm-hmm. So this time and material thing is an awkward thing, okay? Right. It's not a comfortable thing. It really, it's, really, it's weird. Mm-hmm. It's weird, it's okay? Weird. And you put it in, in, a, in a perspective that, you know, you're going to say, well, we charge $200 an hour. $200 an hour? I don't make $200 an hour. <laughs> you know, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Well, I did the math. Taco yes. Bell um, charges over three hundred dollars an hour for your bean burrito. For the bean burrito, it's minus over three hundred dollars an hour for my bean burrito minus onions, extra cheese, and sour, sour cream. cream. Right. Okay, mm-hmm. by the time they get it's they're charging at least three hundred dollars an hour, and that makes sense. That's ridiculous because they have all their time and, and their expenses, everything figured into this thing. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what it just comes down to. Mm-hmm. Okay, and now the guy behind the counter doesn't make three hundred bucks an hour. Uh, no, but and neither do you. Okay, but as a business owner, but correct. even as a business owner, right? Mm-hmm. But you tell you know it's always coming when you throw it into a time and material thing. You know it could be fifty dollars, fifty dollars an hour. <laughs> I, I remember when I first started plumbing, it was fifty five dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Way back when, <laughs> way back a couple when, couple years ago, and that was high in our area. Mm-hmm. Fifty five dollars an hour <laughs> for thirty years. I've been hearing that. You know, eighty five dollars an hour, mm-hmm. one hundred twenty five dollars an hour. <laughs> Stop it. $250 an hour. <laughs> you know, it will never, it will always be that, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you aren't worth, you know, just not, you aren't worth that. Mm-hmm. Okay. In, in their minds. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so to even try to have that conversation and then and try to say, well, here's what it costs to operate. And it, it don't matter. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's just weird. It's right. just weird. Mm-hmm. Flat rate. Yep. Okay. Um, Tom, Toby says, I'm having a hard time with flat rate pricing when doing hydro jetting jobs. Mm. How's come? How's come? That, that's it. That's in your head. Okay. Mm. Um, you know, you just take the, um, you know, different types of hydro, you know, the different, uh, the different sizes, the different lengths, you know, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So and, you have a few different flat rate prices for right. the different types of jobs. Right. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Your customer and your customers are comfortable with that. Right. It's scary when you say, well, even if they buy into, you know, so, you know, hey, we're 150 bucks an hour, hundred dollars an hour. And you guys that are charging, oh, hundred bucks an hour. Hundred, hundred twenty. You guys are dead. You're scaring okay? us. You're scaring right. me. Stop. You, just, um, you know, well, well, I'm not. I'm not a big guy like those big guys. Those big guys can afford. We we can learn in the academy. By the way, you know, you you can see when you really know learn how to make your hourly rate mm-hmm. that it costs the big guys less to operate hourly than what it costs you. 
Yep. Okay, but yet those guys are charging, you know, three, four, five times as much as you an hour. Mm -hmm. And they have plenty of customers, happy customers. Happy. And happy, lots happy. of happy uh, guys working for them and nice equipment, all right? right. And nice everybody's trucks. okay, mm -hmm. and probably uh, insurance for and you all guys. that kind of stuff. Yeah. All right, That's how okay. It's done. But your customers are used to mm -hmm. it, it's it's more comfortable with the flat rate mm -hmm. because it's it's um you know here's how what the, how much a job costs and right. so they can throw up on that you know you know okay three hundred and seventy nine dollars okay mm -hmm. all right it's not well we we charge one hundred fifty dollars an hour. For the first hour, then it's 70, 73 cents after every second times a minute, and right. you know, and every little point, and then with materials. So that's why the guy, you know, they're watching how long you spin out the truck, mm -hmm. and where you're going from. They're 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 uncomfortable and nervous. They know you're going to take advantage of them. Right. They when you're doing hourly time and material, the customer believes you're taking advantage of them. Right. Okay. Yep. Whereas just give me the flat rate, which is common. Mm -hmm. You're used to walking into you know Walmart. You know, and, and how much how much is the toilet paper? Mm -hmm. You know, it's one hundred and fifty dollars for that eight pack. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. 